Good day, TVC family. As you know, the month of November is Adoption Month here at church. A few years ago, Corinne Latachan established the Awakened Hearts Ministry. This ministry was established to raise awareness on orphans and adoption, and even to provide support and counseling in this field. It's also the month where us as a church try and find practical ways in which we can support a cause in this field. For the last few years, we have partnered with the Tandusana Baby Home, such an amazing ministry here in Port Elizabeth. I was fortunate enough to visit the home, to spend some time with the staff, to even meet the children, and I had a great conversation with the coordinator there, Lorna Lamert. Here's a sneak peek of my visit. And we, we fell on bad times. Um, we lost our home and our motor vehicle and everything. And then um, just at the time when somebody was needed here, and then one of the elders of the church asked me if I wouldn't be prepared to, to come and do this. And so I left my, my job I was in. I was a bookkeeper. <laughs> and I left my job and I came here. And I realized that this is where I should have been all my life. To me, these, these children are mine. You know, I, I love them and I would protect them as I would protect my own children. Our first child we had here, um, he's his oldest son, Asana. He's been adopted and he's in Germany. He lives in Germany and he's got a German father and an Italian mother. And they came through one year and, and came to see us. And his mom had to actually tra translate because he couldn't understand English. <laughs> He speaks German and Italian, and it was so funny. And he's got these beautiful dreadlocks. And I said, oh, the dreadlocks. She said, well, I don't know how to do the hair. <laughs> so <laughs> she just left it. And um, he's a, a film star. He's since been in Sweden, and um, he's in films. He's a beautiful child, and he's intelligent, and he's, he's going to go far. And that is an absolute major success story. Well, at the moment we are in a deep financial uh, trouble um, because of COVID. We are not un we are not able to fundraise. So, um, and the funders we had before have had problems as well. Uh, people have lost their jobs. So, we, the funding's been pulled out a lot. A lot of the funders have pulled out, and so the money is not coming in. And I have staff that I have to pay, and I have. The children I have to feed. So it's very, very difficult at the moment. We, we're in such a state that we, it looks as if we might have to close, and that would be a disaster. But we just trust in the Lord, and we know that He will, he will make something happen, I'm sure. As you can see, this home needs our help. We know this is a commandment in Scripture. God tells us, to look after the orphans. James 1.27 says, In you the orphan finds mercy. And now we have an opportunity to show mercy to orphaned and abandoned children. We have been running a collection drive here at church for the last month, collecting nappies and milk, formula, even baby clothing, blankets, foodstuffs like wheat picks and the milk, even cleaning supplies. Anything that you feel can help this home in some way. I want to encourage you to come during our office hours here at church from Tuesday to Friday, 8.30 to 12.30 in the mornings to come and drop off something. We also will be making a monetary donation from our thank offering um, this year. And if you want to donate in some way, please do so via the thank offering here at church. Thank you so much for your support and help in this area. Stay safe. God bless.